All right, now we're going to be talking about wires and resistance. Um, so we often talk about ideal wires as if they had no resistance at all. Resistance is the tendency of, of materials to um, want to not have charge going through them. Um, so then um, as you have charges moving through the um, through the um, the material, you can measure the size of this of how much charge of a, a volume by the drift that it goes through in a period of time is the drift velocity times the time, um, and then times the area will give you the total volume. Okay, and we look at the current density. The current density is defined as the current passing through a small cross-sectional um, area divided by the area. So how much current there is in a given segment of the of the um, of the conductor. Um, and so then here you can see we have a battery um, hooked up, and then we have some. Um, we're looking at a large segment of the. Uh, we're looking at a resistor. So here you have high potential here because this symbol means that the voltage is higher on this side, so you have a higher potential here and a lower potential there. Um, if you think about the analogy of, um, of height and the gravitational potential energy, when you're at high potential, you're at the top of the hill, and when you're at low potential, you're at the bottom of the hill, um, and your, um, your electrons want, uh, your, um, your charges want to go to the, to the area of low potential. Now, of course, the charges are, the move are the electrons, so everything's going in the opposite direction, but it's useful to keep positive charges in your head when you think about these things. Um, so as you go from high potential to low potential, um, the electric field, which points in the direction that positive charges want to move, is um, pointing from high to low. Um, so it's telling you where the positive charge would go. The current is analogous to, um, to current for, for water flowing down a hill, it points in the direction that the positive charge wants to go. And the current density is just the current divided by the area. These are um, symbols for a resistor. Um, if you have some material, it will have a resistivity. And the resistivity is a property of the material. Um, so that if you um, if you build resistors with the same resi with the same material, they're going to have the same resistivity, but they may have different resistance depending on how um, large they are. So you can calculate the resistance as the resistivity times the length divided by the area. So that if a resistor is longer, um, it's going to have a higher resistance. If it has a smaller area is going to have a higher resistance. So you can think about this um, as analogous, again, to um, current throwing, flowing through pipes. If you have a very narrow pipe, it takes it, it's a lot harder to get water going through there very quickly than if you have a big fat pipe. If you have a straw, you're not going to get much water through very fast um, without pushing really, really hard. But if you have a giant sewer pipe, it's going to go through pretty easily. Um, and the longer you have to get, you, the, the longer the object is, the longer your pipe is, the harder it is to get stuff through it. And that is, again, denoted as this symbol when you're drawing circuit diagrams. Um, here, resistors have some standard symbols so that if you lose the, so that if, you, if it's not written on it or you can't read it, um, you can tell what the resistance is um, through color codes. You are not expected to memorize this, but you're expected to know it exists and be able to look it up. Um, uh, another, you guys have undoubtedly seen this, although maybe you actually don't have cable, so maybe you've never seen cable for ca the cable for cable TV. Um, but uh, coaxial cables are um, often used in transmitting uh, electrical signals because they um, tend to suppress noise. So um, you have a core followed by an insulator 
followed by another uh, a metal shield and then a plastic jacket. So um, in a coaxial cable, the current actually flows through um, through the center of the wire instead of having um, instead of having um, you could have you could also have um, a couple different wires.